Hi guys! Welcome to another video of my How to Be a Third Mate series. So today what I'm gonna do is we will be installing our new smoke signal for our MOB boy. Alright! Okay, so these are the things that we will be needing this afternoon. This is the light attachment, the bolts and the nuts, the bracket, and then this is the MOB smoke signal, smoke and light signal. So, before we do anything else, we have to read the instruction manual on how to install. Step one, remove so transit cap. These are the lights. Tapos, you have to remove the transit tag. Alright, perfect. That's it then. So, if it's upright, it will turn on, and if it is inverted, it will turn off. Perfect. <laughs> So now we will be connecting this to the smoke signal. Perfect. So how many hours on duration now? How many hours on duration of the light? Yes. So according to Solas, it's only for two hours, but uh, our previous smoke signal lasted for two days. So let's see. Let's try to invert. All right, perfect. There you go. Alright, so say hi. This is my deck fitter and he will be helping me in connecting this one outside. Step 3. Fasten mounting bracket oh, wow. and outside of bridge ring bulwark. Select mounting point to avoid vibration as much as possible. So in our case, since this is only a replacement, the area where we will place the smoke signal is already fixed. With the life buoy chute, fasten the right angled brackets on outboard side of the life buoy chute. This is how it will look like. Since this smoke signal is different from the previous one, we had to drill new holes on our mountain. Meanwhile, for better ergonomics, we decided to do an outboard staging. So due to that, we had to complete our risk assessment and prepare the work permit which we prepared and discussed moments before we continued with the job. Now we install the smoke and light signal into the bracket using the bolts and nuts. And then you tie this connection. Be careful not to remove this one because this will this is the trigger. So you just have to tie this one to the connection to your MOB boy. So a bowline will suffice. Let me show you. 
but a bull line will suffice. So once you release your MOB buoy and it rolls down here and it rolls down here then that connection between them and the force will be the one to release your smoke signal. Okay guys, so that's how we installed our new MOB smoke and light signal. If you like my video, don't forget to click the like button, comment down below and click the subscribe button to see more of my how to be a third mate series videos. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.